The Model I is the best-selling non-pickup truck in the U.S., it was reported today. In the absence of pickup trucks, pickups outsell the Model I. Those are F-150s. And believe that if you just take a step back here, Tesla has a chance. The release of Cybertruck is scheduled for next year. That might be nothing at all. Possibly a grand slam. Then you add it to the cheaper automobile you're referring to. There is also this other car. I'm going to venture a guess that it's probably more of a sprinter, similar to a Mercedes Sprinter sort of vehicle, with a smaller market than the Model Y, but one that still somewhat fills in this product gap. Additionally, they don't frequently update their items. They are significantly dissimilar from a normal automaker. Based on the fact that more models will soon be released, I'm hopeful about the situation in the long run. Yes, the economy is currently in a storm, but as soon as these items start to be released, I believe investor excitement towards Tesla will change for the better. The Tesla Cybertruck may arrive sooner than anticipated, according to Musk, who also called the truck a long-term Tesla bull. According to Steve Wesley, this will completely shift the game for the automobile industry. Ford has produced a really impressive F-150 that hopefully will attract the youthful EV truck buyers. Ford barely sold 16,000 of the quite nice Rivian vehicles on the market last year. The key is production. This year, I believe they could double or triple those sales numbers, but Tesla has manufacturing expertise. Others don't, though. Their facility has a capacity of 250,000 units annually. They'll probably total between 25 and 40,000 this year, in my opinion, but I predict it will exceed 200,000 the following year. If they follow through with that, Ford stock will come under some serious pressure. We'll see if they can increase production. Due to the 1.5 million orders waiting in line, we are aware of the demand. I believe Tesla's Cybertruck has the potential to change the game even if only a third of them vanish. We shall see. Tesla produces some of the most amazing automobiles ever. As its main goal is to increase customer pleasure, Tesla's service quality in terms of manufacture, design, sales, and service is very good. Most consumers probably anticipate its cars to be better than average for this reason. There are a lot of hopes for Tesla's next models, including some that have already been released, such as the Roadster and the Cybertruck. Steve Wesley believes that the Cybertruck may someday displace the truck business. And if Tesla is able to create enough of this car this year, it might have a big impact in the years to come. Learn more about Steve Wesley's viewpoint. Hey folks, glad to have you back at Tesla. The design, development, manufacturing, sales, and leasing of electric vehicles, as well as the sale of automotive regulatory credits, will all fall under Tesla's automotive section tomorrow. This category also comprises non-warranty after sales, vehicle services, used car sales, retail products, and vehicle insurance revenue, which together make up 95% of the company's total revenue and gross profit. In addition to being Tesla's best vehicle to date, Musk has been touting the Cybertruck as possibly the best product ever. Although the vehicle's arrival in 2019 wasn't without its share of problems or criticism, the automobile has been the subject of several successful marketing. There is already a lot of competition for Tesla vehicles, including the Cybertruck, according to Wesley in a recent interview. However, if the truck can keep up with the current demand, it might seriously change the game for Tesla. Wesley stated this, so why? Watch to find out more. But first, please click the like button if you enjoy this kind of stuff. Turn on alerts and subscribe to stay informed about Tesla's latest news. Wesley is particularly excited about Tesla's Cybertruck and thinks the electric truck will change the game for the company. Musk claims that after years of waiting, the Cybertruck might eventually be in production and go on sale to consumers in the middle or towards the end of 2023. The Tesla factory in Austin, Texas, is set to begin making the electric truck. Within a week of the Cybertruck's debut, Tesla got over 250,000 bookings, according to an announcement made by Musk in June. Following an unveiling, Tesla often obtains a large number of reservations, which then gradually decline. But with the Cybertruck, it was just not the case. Even during the pandemic, some Tesla dealerships reportedly received hundreds of bookings for Cybertrucks each week. Elon Musk claimed that Tesla may create between 250,000 and 500,000 Cybertrucks yearly during the latter hour of the queue and a session. 
It should be noted that no timetable for when this might be accomplished was given. Production on the Cybertruck might halt in the upcoming weeks. Additionally, Tesla has been cited testing certain prototypes that are being brought closer to production standard. Demand is a crucial component that affects Cybertruck's manufacturing, as Tesla CEO has repeatedly noted. The size of that demand will swiftly decide the amount of resources and money made available for Cybertruck manufacturing. Even though it seems evident that the Cybertruck will have a tremendous amount of demand in the United States, which has historically been a truck-dominated vehicle market, pre-orders for Cybertrucks significantly increased sales in 2021. By 2022, pre-orders for Tesla Cybertrucks had increased to almost 1.5 million units. According to a crowdsourced count of reservations, Tesla is presently the market leader for electric vehicles, with revenue of $31.5 billion in 2020. In its January results announcement, Tesla stated that it anticipated a 50% average annual growth in vehicle sales in 2021. Tesla is one of the top 10 brands in the planet, according to Wesley, and CEO Elon Musk has accomplished something unique. Wesley acknowledges that Tesla faces fierce competition, particularly with its Chinese rival, BYD, ramping up production on a quarterly basis, despite his belief that the manufacturer has the ability to continue dominating the EV markets. According to Steve Wesley, BYD is the only organization in the world that can successfully compete with Tesla as of October 2022. At the time, the Tesla bull also stated that BYD is more likely to make and sell 1 million units than Ford, which is only likely to create and sell 60,000 units, and GM, which is only likely to produce and sell 50,000 units. Wesley claims that the current situation appears to be a conflict between Tesla and the Chinese. The Tesla bull has claimed that Tesla and the Chinese corporation are in competition, even if he feels Volkswagen has a strong third-place finish in terms of speed. On the strength of cars like the F-Series, Bronco, and Mustang commercial trucks and electric vehicles, Ford recently overtook Toyota as the best-selling brand in America in Q1, with vehicle sales of 456,972, up 10.7%. Ford outsold GM's trucks and vans by almost 27,000 units in the first quarter of this year, with 254,023 cars and vans sold. Ford's commercial transit van and the S-Series pickup trucks helped to boost sales of Ford's trucks and the entire market, which includes pickups and vans, by 19.6%. In a recent interview, Steve Wesley discussed this and mentioned that given Ford's recent successes, the Cybertruck may face tough competition when it is eventually released. He thinks that Tesla can only overcome this if it can create enough Cybertruck. He thinks Tesla should be able to capture some market share if it can successfully introduce the Cybertruck and produce a significant number of them. Through the sale of its cars and pickup trucks in the United States, China, and other nations around the world, Tesla has quickly expanded into one of the largest all-electric vehicle firms in the world. In terms of market value, has even overtaken the United States as the most valuable automaker globally. The automotive company, however, is actually experiencing increasing competition from other significant automakers who are creating and selling electric vehicles, such as General Motors NIO and automakers with German headquarters like Volkswagen and Dangler Act. According to S&P Global, Tesla continued to hold the biggest percentage of new electric light car registrations in the first nine months of 2022. But thanks to the introduction of new EV models from electric vehicle startups and conventional automakers that are now making their way into the EV market with the recent growth in the use of EVs, that number is now down from 79% in 2020. The level of competition in the market is rising very quickly. More than 10 million electric cars were sold worldwide in 2022. According to the latest edition of the IEA's yearly global electric vehicle outlook, and sales are anticipated to increase by another 35% this year to reach 14 million. Traditional automakers are beginning to produce their own electric car models now that they are aware of the dramatic move to EVs. However, Tesla continues to stand apart for a number of reasons despite the escalating competition. One of them is the automaker, which earns more money than all other automakers combined. Wesley referenced the fact that Tesla continues to earn twice as much profit as every other car they sell, including Toyota, Volkswagen, and Ford. 
Additionally, according to recent data, Tesla's margins are much larger than those of its competitors, both in terms of revenue and earnings. Growth is a key factor in why Tesla is valued so much more than its competitors. The manufacturer of electric vehicles saw a 37% gain in sales last year, and Wall Street experts project an additional 26% growth this year. Tesla has put a lot of effort into bringing its production costs down. According to the company, future models of cars will have assembly costs that are slashed in half. Elon Musk presented a proposal to create batteries internally, which he claimed would make self-driving cars priced at $25,000 practical by 2023, even though he has yet to introduce the eagerly anticipated compact, affordable electric vehicle in 2020. Tesla also announced plans to begin producing its battery components in factories this year using a Texas cathode factory and a lithium refinery. They did not provide an update on its 4680 cell production output. The creation of a more cheap automobile could spark widespread enthusiasm. Despite the fact that Tesla has had difficulty increasing the output of its 4680 cells, due to the automaker's financial flexibility, Tesla switched from selling costly cars to producing more cheap ones. When Tesla eventually releases its $25,000 vehicle, there is a significant chance that it will increase its market share. Wesley also thinks that if Tesla can get this inexpensive EV, it will be in a class by itself. How well do you anticipate Tesla's Cybertruck performing when it is ultimately released? Let us know in the comments section. And if you're interested in learning more about what Tesla has been up to lately, click on the next video that appears on your screen. Hello there.